what is so ridiculously overpriced, yet you still buy. Groceries. Pretty much all the things I need to stay alive. Rent. I can't believe how much people spend on alcohol at a bar. Food with current inflation. Else you die. Concessions at sporting events. As much as I try my best to eat before I go and resist the urge to buy beer when I am there, some days, seeing others enjoying their beer and food slash snacks make me say F it and I indulge too. Health insurance slash medical supplies. Right now? Cars, at least in my area. Brand new cars are few and far between. And it's not unusual to see used cars with prices 10k to 12k above what the price was a year and a half ago. It's insane. Glasses, I could always buy cheap ones, but I'd rather pay money to have nice frames that I actually like wearing rather than a pair I couldn't care less about. Insulin. Warhammer 40k minis. Carry gold butter. Lettuce. Groceries, especially the healthy ones honestly. Effing toilet paper. After people panic bought in 2020, it's so much more than it used to be. Stands out against the rising price of everything else. Razor refills edit. Thank you. Redditors are so great. I will order safety razors today. Effing graphics cards. They're getting better but like half a decade ago I bought a midrange graphics card for the PC connected to my living room TV. I fully expected it would go outdated fast, but with the chip shortages and stuff anything that's more than a slight upgrade is stupid expensive still. I want something that does ray tracing, but I don't want to pay an arm and a leg for it. Almost everything at this point is. Especially food and drinks, packages got smaller, prices got higher. Menstruation stuff. Health insurance that covers next to nothing. My antidepressants. Electricity. Concert tickets. Business class, no contest. But I'm old and have lived frugally all my life, flying steerage, driving cheap cars, etc. etc. So now I can afford it occasionally. First time flying business this year, actually, it's nice. Everything post-COVID. Inflation should be told like the weather. 8% but it feels like 350. Potato chips. Beef jerky. 7.99 for 80 grams. Fruits, milk, veggies, meat olive oil, mattress, vacuum cleaner and the list goes on. Every fin thing is 40 to 50% expensive now. Feels like price gouging. Therapy. It's defiantly overpriced for my budget but still worth every penny. Edit, guys slash gal slash anyone, I appreciate comments but I am not from US. Your suggestions could be helpful for others though, appreciate it. Cigarettes, pay a shitload just to off yourself quicker still don't understand why I still smoke smiley face. Not pulling out. Insulin not speaking for myself as I'm in Australia but I feel for my fellow diabetics in third world countries like America and Sudan etc. Uber Eats fees. I wish I could give it directly to the delivery guy. Homes. Coffee. Heating. Uber Eats delivery fees. The extent of my laziness cannot be overstated when I'm an educator on winter break and fully immersed in goblin mode. Bite Squad is just as bad. DoorDash is trash and I won't ever use them again after becoming convinced the driver stole my five guys french fries. Apple products. Health insurance. I'm self-employed, I have to use the state health insurance marketplace. 
It was a good deal when it was first introduced, but the health insurance lobbies have just pushed prices higher and higher and now I'm just paying a premium for being alive. Games by EA Gasoline Coffee Laundry detergent The $12 breakfast burrito from the sign on the food truck at my kid's volleyball tournament, and I go to pay and he says that'll be $17. I stood there dumbstruck for a second so he felt he had to repeat it. Starving dumbass me just ground my teeth and handed him a 20. Crab, RuneScape Membership Crab Water at the airport $7 for 1.5 liters beats passing out from dehydration due to the tiny amount offered on the plane. Also, I'm aware of refillable bottles. Not all airports have fountains that look trustworthy. Gluten-free bread. Five ants. My current insurance plus a coupon equals 240.00 per month. I've tried the other ones such as Adderall, Ritalin, etc. and they either had zero effect, Adderall, or were the equivalent of an energy drink. Some of them don't come in a high enough dosage for me so I have to take double the highest dose, which my insurance doesn't allow. Vivance allows me to actually function and think clearly, otherwise I feel like I'm internally locked in a cage from literally being myself because my ADHD brain is too cloudy and can't focus on anything. But F them for making it significant other expensive and hard to get. Without insurance it's about 420.00 a month. I just want to be able to human and not lose my job. Houses Takeaways Everything, everywhere, all of the time Whiskey Being an alcoholic is expensive frown Magic the gathering cards laugh out loud I shit talk people for spending $200 on shoes then I'll spend that much on one teeny, tiny piece of cardboard ha ha City life Alcohol wine glass Meat Education edit For context I live in a country where education is very easy to get, I was just saying this on behalf of Americans, and maybe a little bit because I thought it would get upvotes. Dumb shit trinkets to trigger the endorphins My apartment Women the hourly rate is ridiculous now. Food. Effing Netflix in 4K. iPhones. Microwave rice. If a beer in Japan, the prices are crazy but I enjoy the taste of bitter beer. The only correct answer is Lego. Car insurance. Legally forced to purchase it and yet it's still astronomically high. Oh did your credit rise from financial troubles during the pandemic. $300 for liability coverage please oh did your car model get stolen more than others last year. Extra $100 on your premium. Oh did your neighbor using the same insurance company get into an accident. You're now higher risk. $100 more a month please if you don't like it, too bad. You need it to drive. Insulin. In Ireland? Effing everything. Printer ink. Fucking drugs M8. Life sustaining medication that cost one one hundredth of the cost outside of the USA. Avocados. Paper products ebooks, photocopies, etc. Analog preamps and DA converters. Video games. Weed. Spotify Premium. What else am I supposed to do? Listen to ads? Driver's license in Germany. Homemade iced tea and or lemonade at restaurants. So overpriced, so tasty. Groceries. Pads, tampons and toilet paper. 
Ink. It costs like a dollar to make. Housing. It's expensive but people need it. Insulin. I have no choice. I can pay the outrageous price or die. Beef jerky. Records. My latest purchase was the cheap version of Tools Fear Inoculum, which I bought at the exorbitant price of 60 US dollars. The boxed version will set you back 180 US dollars. Not sure if records are cheaper or more expensive in other parts of the world but they sure are expensive here in Sweden. Gas and kids from the black market. Soda pop. Drinks at concerts slash shows slash sporting events. Also, tampons. But can't not buy. Tampons. Paper plates. I spent $23 for a pack of paper plates yesterday. Printer ink. Shit's way too expensive, but when you want to print something you don't really have an option. My rent. My place is a total shithole, floors aren't even flat, bugs, paper thing walls, loud AF neighbors who never sleep, etc. Unfortunately cheaper places are somehow even shittier in my area. Apple products. People pay YE too much for Starbucks. An hour with her mom. Printer ink. Old vinyl. Cocaine. Electricity, at least in Sweden. Eggs. College education college education. Well besides basic things like housing, groceries and transportation, Spotify and YouTube premium. These are both particularly expensive in my country, but it's something I choose to pay for as I use it daily and I can't stand the ads. Legos. Film, for photography. Rent. Pretty soon at poo. Coffee away from home, even though I have a fantastic normal, no disgusting pods, espresso machine at home and I know how to make a perfectly balanced and creamy half-sweet caramel latte myself. I like to taste evenly a little coffee bitterness, barely a bit of caramel-flavored bitter buffering syrup, just enough to wonder if it's in there, and medium foamy and fluffy 160 degrees Fahrenheit dairy. But my favorite coffee shop makes it exactly the same as my favorite barista girl at home, my wife, or the weird barista dude, me, and it's nice to get a perfect taste of home when I'm not at home. At home it costs less than 10% as much as at a drive through though. Person shrugging, oh well. And only 25% as much even if I use premium pure 100% Kona beans straight from the big island. Yes, the dark roast side is strongly addicted in this one. Snooze. PC parts. Prostitutes. Vet bills. This is comment bait since literally everything is overpriced right now. Marijuana. Paper towels. Insulin. Uber. Eats. No, I can't financially justify spending $30 on lunch, but I'm hungry and I don't feel like cooking, and you just can't put a price tag on that okay? Adobe subscription. I need it for work and hobbies but dear god I wish they would stop upping the price. Hell, I'm still milking out my student discount on it and it's still almost $40 a month. Heroin. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button for more content. I post every day and I'll see you next time with more stories.